Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin breaking out. Watch out for this false signal and where Bitcoin could be in the short, medium and long term. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including watching out for a false signal and where Bitcoin could be in multiple time frames. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now, today, neutral 51. We've been in neutral for the past week. Neutral is the new extreme fear for those of you who've been hanging around for a while. Now, the overall market actually down almost 3% today. Bitcoin at 22,688, Ethereum at 1553, BNB at 302, XRP 40 cents, Cardano 35 cents, Dogecoin 8 cents, and Solana $23. Bitcoin right now getting rejected from this line roughly $23,000 where there was a significant level on the volume profile. A lot of money has changed hands at those levels previously. If price continues to go down, and this isn't just a temporary one day hammering in a bottom, you can see a nice hammer doji candle right there. If that doesn't happen, we could be heading down to the levels right around here. We have the 200 day moving average in orange, we have $20,000 in blue, and we have this previous support level right here at this white line. This is roughly between 19.6 and 22. But you can see right hit down here, Look at this nice little golden cross printing on the 20 or excuse me, the 50 and 100 day moving averages right now. Now, simultaneously, while that's happening, if we take a look at the all country breadth percent greater than 200 day averages, when this indicator goes from having no indexes above their 200 day moving averages right down here in red from more than to more than 90 percent in just 50 days. Global stocks have historically continued their rally in the upcoming months. Every time this happened, significant rallies following. And you think if it's going to happen with global stocks, it would likely happen with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as well. Right now, we see Bitcoin breaking out from this massive multi-month, year-long falling wedge that we have been in. 46,000 incoming sooner than a lot of investors think. Stay tuned for later for another chart that's showing $46,000 as a likely target. Right now, if we consider Bitcoin with DXY, we know that DXY is falling after it broke out from this parabolic rise. Well, when DXY enters the high volatility phase, as can be seen by these sideways megaphones, Bitcoin generally moves in a decent uptrend. Not only that, but when we take a look at USDT dominance, inversely correlated with Bitcoin, just broke multi-month support. Well, Bitcoin simultaneously breaking multi-month resistance, likely to go up as this continues to go down. Right now, the institutional bias is flipping bullish. You can see the orange and the blue lines right here flipping. At the extremes, institutional bias usually gives good signals on the weekly time frame for Bitcoin. However, it did have a false signal in 2015. So careful, it's currently flipping bullish, just a little bit of caution. No need to go 100x long just yet. If we take a look though, it's pretty obvious Bitcoin has a significant breakout on this RSI falling wedge. Last, not only that, but also support on this multi-year trend channel, both times, last time, serious gains for Bitcoin after that happened. Right now, coming up, to these bands you can see right now, big, big levels coming for Bitcoin. The weekly MA200, possible reclaim of the weekly EMA ribbon at the same time in 2015, 2019, and 2020, and 2021. This has led to very strong increases for Bitcoin, something to watch in the very, very near future. These are critical levels for Bitcoin. So where could Bitcoin be in the short term, medium term, and long term. Let's take a look at this. Well, when Bitcoin price tags the 21 EMA on the four hour time frame after consolidations, there was a spike up of 13%. We can see this happening time and time again. Bitcoin has followed this setup, giving the opportunity for the new year to begin. From here, the 13% target is 26,000 
dollars. So if this happens once again, we could see a $26,000 Bitcoin in the very near future. Now that's the near future. But if we want a little bit more medium term, like let's say three months, because you definitely want to sell in May and go away. So this would be the opportunity to sell before the summer comes and everybody else sells and the price crashes. Well, could Bitcoin be at 43.5 by April? This scenario could be very likely if we refer to what Bitcoin did in past cycles following the FRVP. It breaks the POC level, like we see here, and then it reaches the VAH level very shortly afterwards. See, breaks the POC, reaches the VAH. Breaks the POC, well, the VAH is roughly 43.5 suggesting we could be there by April. Could be very, very interesting for Bitcoin in the short term before you sell in May and go away. And in a much longer term, we can see the psychology of the crypto market cap. This stuff is very, very good because right now nobody cares about cryptocurrency. Everybody cares about the recession and everybody is shorting the market and buying their puts because everybody is pretty sure the market is going down. Well, that's pretty much this. I will buy lower. Everybody, two weeks ago, everybody was certain Bitcoin was going to $10,000. Did it? No. Okay. But this chart showing the psychology of the majority of retail investors who mostly end up buying the top and selling the bottom. Right now, we're here, level two. It's a bull trap. And you can see this. A lot of people right now, I don't trust this rally. I don't know if this is going to happen. Well, very soon, because there's not much Bitcoin on exchanges, thanks to FTX and the scares from everything regarding that, people took all their Bitcoin and cryptocurrency off exchanges. So as soon as the price starts going up and people want to start buying it on exchanges, price is going to rocket up. You know where it'll get to? It'll get right back up to still below all-time highs. This is roughly the area around 40 some thousand dollars that we were talking about by April. But you know where it goes after that? It passes all-time highs. I'm so stupid, I'll buy it the next pullback, which never happens. And then, what the F, it's going higher. Panic buy is here to an all-time high. Thank God I finally bought it. I'm bull, let's go. Million dollar Bitcoin, and then price crashes and repeats once again. And I will buy lower all at the bottom when basically everyone sells. So, that is likely where Bitcoin is headed and that's all for today's episode if you did enjoy it thank you so much for watching i do enjoy spending this time with you every day i will catch you guys later have a good one love you peace if you don't think bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then 10 million dollars a coin you're already a loser Everybody